Hello, welcome back to Physio Designer Tutorial Series. In this tutorial series, we will investigate predator prey models based on Lotka Volterra equations. In this tutorial, we will develop the original Lotka Volterra model, which we created in the previous tutorial. Before starting the modification, let's overview briefly the original model. Lotka Volterra model considers population dynamics of prey and predator. This graph shows one example. Populations of hares and lynxes recorded in the Canadian Rockies shows interesting oscillations. Lotka Volterra model includes two states corresponding to hare and lynx populations, and reproduces their oscillatory behavior. The equation simply implements hare's birth. Interaction between hares and lynxes, that is predation which implies mortality of hares, and birth of lynxes. The last term corresponds to mortality of lynxes. The simulation of this model shows oscillatory dynamics, especially interestingly when we add a perturbation to the hare's population, the amplitudes of the both of oscillations changed. Even after the perturbation disappeared, the new amplitudes were kept. All right. Then let's make a little expansion to the original Lotka Volterra model. The first modification is on the first term of the hair's dynamics. The term, 1 minus hair over k, limits the maximum population of the hairs. The parameter k corresponds to the maximum population size. Before this modification, the hair's population can be large without limitation. But now, due to, for example, shortage of food, too large population cannot be sustained. This is rather realistic assumption. Notice that this formulation resembles the logistic growth model. The second term of the hair's dynamics now includes the effect of the prey consumption rate for low hair population. If there are sufficient amount of hairs, the rate of predation is determined mainly by the number of lynxes. But when hair's population is small, it becomes more difficult for lynxes to prey on hairs. The same modification also must be done for the first term of the lynx's dynamics, and parameter values are also changed. Okay, now, let's go to Physio Designer. We will continue on the model that we created in the previous tutorial. Open Physical Quantity dialog on Hairs module. At the Implementation tab of the Physical Quantity Hair, modify the right-hand side of the equation. Parameter A becomes 1.6, B becomes 3.2. Let's set 0 to the perturbation intensity for now. K is 125, and G is 25. That's all for this module. In Links's module, change the first term of the physical quantity links. Parameter C becomes 1.92, D becomes 0.56, and G is 25. That's all. Let's save this model as Lotka Volterra modified model. Then call Flint, and run a simulation. You see, this time again hairs and lynxes showed oscillations. The amplitude is much bigger than the original Lotka Volterra model, but qualitative dynamics look similar. Let's add perturbation. On Flint, at Parameters tab, we can change the value of the perturbation intensity. Let's set 2, and run a simulation. What happened? Comparing to the original case with the perturbation, the difference is obvious. In this time, the amplitude got recovered the original level after the perturbation, but in the original case, the amplitude which is different from before perturbation lasts forever. During the perturbation, the amplitude of oscillation became smaller. The mechanism is similar with the previous case. The population of hairs grew immediately after the perturbation started which was followed by the growth of the lynx's population. Then it stopped further growth of the hare's population. The recovery of the oscillation amplitude after the perturbation indicates that, on the modified Lotka Volterra model, the oscillation is a stable limit cycle. On the phase plane, we can also clearly observe that, after small three cycles, the perturbation was removed, and the orbit asymptotically approached to the original cycle. In the case of the original Lotka Volterra model, there are two cycles, large amplitude and small amplitude, and there is an orbit getting across from large one to small one. 
By introducing a little modifications to the original Lotka Volterra equations, the dynamics qualitatively changed, and showed rather robust dynamics against a perturbation. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching until the end. See you next time. Goodbye.